या माय नेम इज सचिन वजे आय एम अ व्हॉलंटियर एट विज्ञान विभाग ऑफ महाराष्ट्र सेवा संघ मुलुंड सिंस दिस लॉकडाऊन इज गोइंग ऑन वी हैव स्टार्टेड विथ द ऑनलाईन वेबिनार्स अँड दिस इज अवर थर्ड वेबिनार टुडे अँड अगेन वी हॅव कम विथ अ व्हेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक क्लायमेट चेंज which is like a very obvious reality to all of us but uh, there are many technical things related to the topic so we have got uh, dr karlekar sir today so uh, he will be presenting uh, his presentation uh, for around 40 minutes and uh, everyone should be uh, able to post their questions or queries on the chat box i repeat all of you should be uh, writing your questions on the chat box we will not be having any separate q and a session uh, so feel free to write any queries and questions you have in the chat box um so to begin with today's topic uh, let me first introduce you uh, to mr karlekar sir uh, dr uh, shrikan karlekar has done uh, msc phd uh, in the field of geology he was the head at the department of geography uh, at sp college pune he also served as a dean uh, at faculty of earth sciences uh, in uh, tilak maharashtra vidyapit pune uh, he has published a lot of uh, uh, research papers and technical presentations uh, apart from that he has uh, also taken a uh, training in uh, photogrammetry and aerial photo interpretation at indian photo interpretation institute uh, dehradun from july 1979 to december 1979 uh, he uh, he worked as a professor and head of department of geography as i said and uh, he has received many awards during his uh, during his tenure he he was awarded by the best teacher award by maharashtra bhugol shastra parishad in 2005 later uh, he was also awarded with, awarded with uh, lg deshpande award by lg deshpande pratishthan in 2008 uh, he also received geography teacher award by deccan geographical society of india in 2012 and uh, also he has received swatantra veer savarkar award for the book uh, prithvi jignasa uh, by pune marathi granthale so we are really happy to have him with us today and uh, as i said uh, he will be giving his presentation now for uh, and it will be around 40 minutes uh, and feel free to post your questions and queries and we'll select uh, uh, a few questions and then we will ask uh, ask the questions in the question answer session but uh, uh, as a uh, but again i will repeat that uh, there is no uh, mic access for audience uh, you have to write your questions from your from the chat box so keep posting keep asking your queries and i think i am done with uh, my introduction part uh, i think vaibo you can now hand over to dr karlekar sir thanks a lot uh, thanks a lot sachin for the introduction and uh, everyone default is already muted uh, as you all uh, are aware as my my friend sachin just mentioned and uh, please keep writing your uh, queries or uh, if you have any problems in the audio or whatever uh, in the chat box uh, the best way to uh, you know resolve any technical issues is try and rejoin because there could be bandwidth issues and uh, so just quit and join the meeting again anytime uh, and uh, keep posting your questions in the chat uh, at any time of the session your question would be noted uh, at the end and it would be asked to the speaker i hand over to uh, dr srikant karlekar now thank you sachin okay very good morning to all of you uh, as you know this particular session is uh, organized by Maharashtra Seva Singh Mulun, Vidyan Vibhag. The topic on which I am going to speak today is climate change and its effects on the ecology and environment. 
Now we, we begin with the uh, a simple definition of what a climate change is. Climate change is a long term shift in weather conditions identified by changes in temperature, precipitation, winds and other indicators. Uh, now for those who are not, uh, who do not know these, these ter terms, uh, I will slightly explain. Temperature you will know, the precipitation basically is a rainfall, the amount of wind and other, these are the major indicators of climate or the weather, weather. So this is a long term shift basically, climate change is a long term shift. Climate change can involve both changes in average conditions, average conditions of temperature, precipitation, winds, etc. And changes in weather variability, including extreme events. It also includes the uh, extreme events in the climate change definition. Now there are natural as well as the human causes for climate change. <coughs> uh, first of all, we see the natural causes. The Earth's climate is affected by natural factors that are external to the climate system. <coughs> that is, they uh, affect the climate from outside. Uh, in, in the universe, such as changes in the volcanic activity, solar output, inclination of Earth axis and the Earth's orbit around the Sun and of course the distribution of continents and oceans because that is also changing. Uh, of these, the two factors relevant on time scales of contemporary climate change are changes in volcanic activity and changes in the solar radiation. Here you can see the volcanic activity, a representative photograph of that. This you will see the, our uh, axis of the earth is slightly inclined, uh, so that also affects the climate change. If there is a slight change in the inclination here, that will affect the climate change. The earth's orbit around the, around the sun, this is also a very important factor. The distribution, as I said, distribution of these continents, because presently you may be knowing that the distance between these continents is slightly changing, increasing, and in near future probably all these continents will come together and form one more Pangaea. So that also is leading to a climate change phenomena. And the, the, this is a solar flare, solar flare. So these are the factors. These are natural causes. These are in brief the human causes. Climate change is also caused by human activities such as burning of fossil fuels, uh, you know all these things, and the conversion of land for forestry and agriculture. Changes in the sunspots and formation of interstellar dust. This is a representative picture of interstellar dust. Also contribute to climate change by way of temperature change. What happens is the temperature changes because of this, because of the interstellar dust and the sunspot changes. Increase in the distribution in the heat propagation. So this also on the global level uh, affects the change in the climate. Global warming is the immediate expression of global change, uh, climate change. Jala Marathi Madhya Apan, Vaishwik Tapaman Vruddhi Asamanta. I will also give some Marathi terms uh, because you may not be uh, knowing uh, some technical terms. Global warming is that, is the immediate expression of climate change. Global warming is the increase of Earth's average surface temperature due to effect of volcanic eruption. So the global warming is mainly because of these factors. Volcanic eruptions like this, greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide emissions from the burning fossil fuels or from deforestation which trap the heat that would otherwise escape the earth. Now it has also been found that the global temperature and subsequently the climate has changed many times in earth's history. So this is not a very recent phenomena or the uh, climate change uh, earth has I mean experienced many times in its history. The major shift however is towards the increase in the temperature. It has been found that the major change in the temperatures is that the temperature is increasing you can see it here. Initially this, this was the scenario this, this particular curve shows the normal uh, distribution curve. You can see there is more heat and more hot weather and the more uh, recorded hot weather. So the change is towards the increase in the temperature. That is a major, I mean, uh, you can say a, a characteristic of the present day uh, climate change. Now these are the 
ten indicators of a warming world. How you know that the uh, that the world is warming and the temperature is increasing and therefore causing the climate change? So the air temperature near the surface, which is also called as the troposphere, this air temperature near the surface of the Earth is increasing, and therefore is indicated by the uh, this particular arrow, positive, uh, going up. Humidity increasing. Humidity. मतलब हवे इतना मॉइस्चर है पन वार्ते हवे मतलब जो ओल्सर पन आये तो पन वार्ते टेम्परेचर ओवर ओशंस इज आल्सो इंक्रीजिंग सी सरफेस टेम्परेचर द टेम्परेचर ओवर ओशंस इज इंक्रीजिंग बट द सी सरफेस टेम्परेचर इज आल्सो इंक्रीजिंग द सी आइस इज मेल्टिंग इट इज शोन बाय दिस पर्टिकुलर एरो सी लेवल इज इंक्रीजिंग सी लेवल इज इंक्रीजिंग ओशन हीट कंटेंट इज आल्सो इंक्रीजिंग द heat which is contained in the ocean water is increasing temperature over the land is increasing snow cover is decreasing glaciers are melting so these are the indicators and by these indicators we definitely know that the uh, the temperature is increasing and ultimately causing a, a climate change so uh, this is this is experienced by many by many and therefore these are the indicators now how do we know that Uh, we are causing global warming that is we are also responsible for global warming shrinking upper atmosphere the thickness of the atmosphere especially the upper atmosphere layer is shrinking its thickness is decreasing nowadays i will not go into all those details giving you all the figures you can only remember that the upper uh, uh, layer of the atmosphere is shrinking less heat is escaping to space because most of the temperature and the heat is being retained within the climate uh, around the earth uh, so the less heat is escaping cooling upper atmosphere this upper atmosphere is getting cooled rising to tropopause uh, tropopause is the lower section of the climate and there this particular thickness the thickness of this is increasing because it is rising okay more fossil fuel carbon in the air existence of more fossil fuel is uh, in the air then less oxygen in the air winter warming faster than summer the nights warming faster than the days more fossil fuel carbon in the trees more fossil fuel carbon in corals manje prawal corals more fossil fuel carbon in oceans and the pattern of ocean warming so all these things they tell me that we are responsible for the global warming and ultimately we are causing the climate change now what is interesting is this the coasts are prime locations affected by the climate change manje hawan badlacha pehla mukhya parinam ha samudra kinaryavar hoto asa aplyala dista you will not feel the climate change in the interior of the land but you can definitely see and experience the climate change effect on the coast therefore coast are the prime locations and many people many scientists they are now studying the coastal areas and the sea shores more in detail to understand the climate change tata abhyas de jasta chalu hai sea shores and coastal areas sir climate change immediately climate change immediately affects the coastal environments of the world through the sea level rise and this associated impacts uh, how you will know that sea level is rising uh, because of some associated impacts now this includes more frequent storms and flooding uh, you will experience number of small uh, storms this year also in 2019 we experienced uh, many more storms even after the conclusion of the monsoon then flooding flooding the uh, intensity of flooding is increasing the uh, frequency of flooding is also increasing higher rates of beach erosion mujhe kinar patan ji dhup hi jasta vegani hote hai asa apna lakshya submergence of coastal wetlands ki wetlands hai they are getting merged on the coast and the salt water is intruding mujhe kharat pani hai samudra ke nare aur jasta aat jata hai these stressors these are all stressors they are putting some coastal and inland developments at increasing risk of damage so by this we know the sea level is rising and causing the climate change okay we'll see the mechanism 
this is a very vast subject let me tell you this cannot be i mean completed in a time span of one hour i am giving you only salient features and uh, giving you um, the major uh, aspects of mechanism the mechanism of climate change usually begins with the melting of icebergs due to global warming from north and south pole manje uttar dhruv ani dakshin dhruv itha hi prakriya shuru hote the process of climate change due to what due to the melting of ice or melting of icebergs so that is the point which instigates the climate change that is the process which initiates the climate change now nasa study finds that perennial sea ice in the arctic is melting faster than previously thought at a rate of 9% per decade per decade if these melting rates continue for a few more decades decades the perennial sea ice will likely disappear entirely within this century due to rising temperatures and interactions between the ice ocean and the atmosphere that accelerate the melting process what is important is this the arctic ice is melting faster than the antarctic uh, ice this is the arctic sea ice a prior a representative photograph arctic will be free of ice by 2030 म्हणजे इतका बर्फ वितळणार आहे आर्टिक वरचा की दोन हजार तीस मध्ये आर्टिक वरती काही बर्फ शिल्लक राहणार नाही ड्यू टू इन्क्रीज इन द टेम्परेचर नाव सी दिस इज व्हेरी व्हेरी इंटरेस्टिंग हाऊ इट हॅपन्स हाऊ द मॅकॅनिझम टेक्स प्लेस द सदर्न लिमिट ऑफ द नॉर्दन आईसबर्ग दिस आर द नॉर्दन आईसबर्ग इयर इन दिस एरिया अँड दि सदर्न लिमिट ऑफ आईसबर्ग वेर इज ग्रेटली इट चेंजेस देर इज अ ग्रेट व्हेरिएशन इन द नंबर ऑफ दिज आईसबर्ग the iceberg number is also increasing there is a danger <coughs> that they may reach 30 degrees north latitude this is here i will explain to you in brief okay in very near future these icebergs which are presently occupying are where occupying these areas these icebergs are melting and they are moving in this direction okay they are being coming close to 30 degrees north parallel this is a subtropical area this is a tropical area this is low pressure area this is a high pressure area okay now this is a very important aspect the ice is moving in this direction it is shown here it is shown here we are here we are in the tropical area see okay and this is moving in this direction the mid latitude cyclones will shift towards the equatorial region so the cyclones which are generated here uh, will definitely shift in this direction that is they will shift towards the equator they will shift towards the tropical areas monsoon areas so we will experience more storms because the ice is moving in this direction causing the uh, development of the storms which are moving in this direction so that is a major issue in the climate change it is feared that due to suddenly movement of sea ice temperate cyclones may shift their paths equator wards in the near future uh, the the thing which i explained to you just now they will move like this this is the polar area this is the equatorial area they will be moving in this direction same happens with the southern hemisphere the southern icebergs are uh, also moving speedily to the north this is the southern hemisphere antarctic area and icebergs from this the melted ice here is moving in this direction they will occupy area of 35 45 50 degrees south parallel okay and ultimately they will also move in this direction causing many many storms here so the most important area which will be affected by climate change in near future is our area the tropical area the monsoon area like india more the ice melts more the sun's rays are absorbed into the dark ocean instead of being reflected back into the atmosphere this will further warm the ocean and melt even more sea ice again a, a representative picture how a melted ice looks like the influx of fresh water from the melting ice is making sea water at higher latitudes less dense in fact data shows that the north atlantic has become fresher over the past several decades म्हणजे अटलांटिक महासागराचं उत्तरेकडचं भागातलं पाणी त्याचं खारटपणा कमी झाला आहे बिकॉज दी आईस इज मुव्हिंग फ्रॉम दी नॉर्दन हेमिस्फिअर नॉर्थ पोल टू दी और टू दीज एरियाज द लेस डेन्स वॉटर विल नॉट बी एबल टू सिंक अँड सर्क्युलेट थ्रू द डीप ओशन ॲज इट डज करंटली मेकिंग इट व्हेरी सिम्पल 
the meaning of this is uh, the the circulation pattern in the ocean will change as a result of climate change as a result of these movements thus melting of glaciers is a major worldwide effect of climate change in terms of global temperature increase so you will see a remnant of ice here uh, this is from alps alps area only this much ice is remaining all this was covered all this was covered. this is a permanent ice cover okay this is again a very interesting outcome of the melting of ice melting of glaciers has started exposing hitherto unknown world covered under the thick piles of snow we were unaware of these such things because all these things were covered under the piles of snow the remains of two australian soldiers here shown here exposed after the melting of Bresana glacier in Italy 2014 that glacier is here it is shown by a 3d three dimensional photograph here after the melting of glaciers these things they are getting exposed so you know here this gives me a more lot of information about the things which were covered or which are covered yet another example these are mummified remains of soldiers in the second world war they are exposed now okay so you can also find out the movement of troops in which direction the troops moved and uh, the things like that this is a forest exposed after the melting of alaska glacier this is alaska glacier and the tongue of the glacier melted and this particular forest which was covered is now exposed so this gives me more information about the paleo forest in these areas there is a large increase in the damaging ultraviolet radiation as a result of global climate change and this is very very devastating this has a very devastating effect uh, you will also experience most of us they experience the uh, increase in the ultraviolet radiation especially in the june july months this is basically a result of climate change climate change is inducing the more ultraviolet radiation is an increase in the amount of ultraviolet radiation should i repeat are you able to see the decrease of ozone amounts in the upper atmosphere due to climate change above antarctic and nearby regions between 80 and 2000 has caused an increase in the amount of ultraviolet radiation you can see this this is ozone ozone hole and the increase in the ozone hole uh, by this particular spectrum you can see how it has increased uh, the ozone uh, hole has increased because of climate change now these are some effects of the climate change over exposure to ultraviolet radiation uh, changes the flowering times of some kinds of plants and affects the animals that depend on them okay so such uh, such things plants and animals they are also getting affected because of the exposure to ultraviolet radiation corals manje prawar corals are particularly sensitive to ultraviolet radiation according to recent research an entire coral colonies have been wiped out in recent years again a result of climate change again a result of um, ultraviolet radiation increase due to climate change increased ultraviolet radiation has caused a sharp rise in the deaths of marine species many many marine species their death again is connected to the ultraviolet radiation increase which is a consequence of uh, climate change okay these are some of the effects this is a major effect of uh, rising sea level the areas around amsterdam netherlands uh, how they will how much area will be drowned uh, by since 2070 this all total area marked red red dots show areas threatened by more than 2 meters equal to or more than 2 meters rise in sea level 2 meter ni paanachi pata ki wadli samudra chi tar ha evda sagla samudra kenara ha paane khali jail by 2070 our area will be impacted more the impact of change on indian coast is significant india has 5700 kilometers long stretch of coast the coast is very complex as regards the landforms and processes but 
all these these coastlines gujarat maharashtra goa karnataka etc all these they are experiencing accelerated erosion manje jeez vadli hai kinare varchi progressive siltation gaal satla hai khadyancha madhe gaal satto hai and the overall degradation of marine ecosystems are the signs of change in the recent years uh, you must have also experienced these things along the coastline our our coastline sea level fluctuations cyclonic storms and changing coastal climate is also complicating the issue we are more concerned about our coastlines uh, due to the climate change the kolkata coastline will look like this by 2070 uh, equal to or more than 2 meters rise in the sea level will have or will show this type of scenario in case of kolkata this is regarding mumbai because mumbai coastline is a rocky coastline this one there are many rocks here uh, and, and uh, you will see that it's not like a kolkata shoreline it's not like a amsterdam shoreline coastline you see the uh, ingress of water in terms of dots or limited areas but these are the dots the red dots they show area threatened by equal to or greater than 2 meters rise in the sea level in kalyan dombivli Uh, that area dadar virar etc coastal storms and storm flooding sea level rise would increase the area likely to be inundated by coastal storms because storm flooding would reach higher land inland elevations high population densities are presently concentrated near water's edge uh, several locations throughout the world and coastal populations are still growing because of the highly developing nature of coast a large population and considerable private property and public infrastructure are potentially at risk of hazardous events that is inundation and flooding associated with sea level why i am stressing this particular point is sea level is the area which is experiencing uh, the effect of climate change first so i must know in what particular manner the climate change is being reflected in the nature land below 5 feet level 1.5 meters especially on the coast in general could be permanently lost all these villages could be permanently lost in near future due to inundation caused by climate change caused by rise in the sea level this is the beach erosion you can see this beach uh, earlier with climate change rates of beach erosion would double or triple by 2020 that is this year 3 to 6 times by 2050 and 4 to 10 times by 2080 relative to the first decade of the 20th 21st century so you see this one uh, six times four times uh, you see the rate at which the coastlines are getting eroded coastal erosion is clearly visible on many sandy beaches in our areas kokan coast this is mit mumbri beach near devgarh this i am giving you as an example representative of along our beach you can see how much erosion has taken place all this beach sector has been eroded and the water is increasing going into the sea and this is a recent phenomena okay only last year phenomena the rapid in uh, rapid rise in the sea level could cause a dramatic increase in the volcanic eruptions this thing appears to be very surprising according to new study in and around volcanoes mujhe aaj jo jalam ke hai tacha aaj wo zala there is a more ground water which increases water vapor in or and near magma chambers and hence increases the activity of volatiles contributing to volcanic eruptions so as the climate change increases as the sea level increases there will be a more number of volcanic eruptions so that is the result now changing behavior of monsoons is yet another effect of climate change and we are facing this we are seeing this uh, from uh, last three to four years this is a major effect of climate change especially for monsoon countries in general and india in particular so, and therefore this climate change is a more concern to our country uh, it is changing the total behavior of monsoon now this without going into the other details because we don't have much time without going to more details we'll see how this particular climate change is affected in monsoons it is being reflected <coughs> i'm sorry
<coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> it is being reflected in the late onset of monsoon. When the monsoon Ushira Suru Vada. However, you cannot be very sure about this. It may so happen that this year the monsoon may start early. Uh, that is, this is not very sure, but this is a tendency. Late onset of monsoon, significant increase in the amount of rainfall. The rainfall amount will increase. Passes of Man Wadel, development of intense cyclones and depressions even after monsoon. This again we have experienced last year, 2019. We have experienced there were four to five cyclones after the conclusion of the monsoon. Frequent cloud burst. This also we have experienced in Domboli, Thane, Pune, these regions. This year also we have experienced and this is considered as an indication of climate change. Late withdrawal of monsoon, many days after 1st of November, 1st of September, I'm sorry. Uh, so the monsoon normally uh, withdraws by 1st of September. In September, the monsoon is However, you will see that there is a late withdrawal tendency. It will, it will persist, it will remain uh, till so they, they say the end of September. Uh, so these are, these are the results, causes, and these are the consequences of climate change. Flooding due to excessive and sudden rainfall. Uh, once there is a sudden rainfall, this will uh, result into excessive and uh, sudden rainfall in, uh, will result into flooding. This is related mainly to the following factors. The flooding is related to many factors, but the main factor is the climate change. Interaction between western disturbances and monsoon system also will cause the flooding. Southwest monsoon and Bay of Bengal branch of monsoon both being active uh, at the same time. Okay, Bengal, the branch coming from Bengal side and branch from southwest. Uh, they are coming together at the one and the same time, being active at one and the same time, will cause the flooding and climate change. Development of intense depressions over oceans. Samudra over Kum Modi Vadeda Terravanichi tendency. And rainfall more than 150 millimeters in a day. Uh, this is a very, very uh, significant occurrence nowadays. There is a rainfall which is more than 150 millimeters in a day. And this is considered again as a result of climate change. These are the monsoon flood hit uh, states in 2019. Uh, there were serial, the series of floods that affected over nine states. Again, I will not go into details, but this particular map is self-explanatory. Which area uh, experienced uh, floods? Other states hit by heavy rains include Jammu and Kashmir slightly, Odisha, Odisha, and West Bengal also. So all these areas they experienced flooding. Again, this is considered as the result of climate change. Uh, this, was, this is the Panchaganga area and the basin of Panchaganga. Floods caused by climate change in addition to human causes are, are like this. The August 2019 Panchaganga floods, you know well about this. There is a flash flood floods in Kerala, 8th of August 2018. Then Brahmaputra floods, 2011, again a result of climate change. Kashmir floods of 2014. Now we know that these were definitely uh, they were caused by the climate change, not only by the human interference in the ecosystem, not only a result of siltation, not only a result of the uh, tourism industry and the building and construction for tourists, but it is mainly a result of climate change causing everything changing. The hydrodynamics has changed totally. There are a few other consequences. We'll, we'll, in brief, we'll see all those. Okay. So the water logging and health problems. This is again a major concern, okay. especially in the coastal areas. And because of that, the areas which are joining, adjoining the coastal areas in the interior parts. Health problems and water logging. The methane plumes rising from Arctic permafrost. This is slightly technical. The amount of methane released from the microorganisms dwelling in lakes and freshwater beds will increase <coughs> several fold for each degree Celsius the earth's temperature rises. This is all methane coming out from the permanently frozen Arctic areas <coughs> and this is going to be a very dangerous scenario in near future because these methane plumes will also affect the human health. 
okay and this everything will be spread along the uh, along many many areas over the many many areas in the world uh, this is a example siberia gases are released from permafrost soil this is a permanently frozen area large volumes of organic carbon are stored in the permafrost permafrost permanently frozen kayam swarupi barf ita astane me the release of these gases has serious consequences as i just now told you okay so but this is an example representative siberia <coughs> increase in the incidences of forest fires janglana lagnare ya agi ahet tyachi frequency pan wadlele aplyala disti last year also we experienced this in many areas now this is not only we really, uh, i mean uh, this is not uh, found only in coastal areas let me tell you this is everywhere in many semi arid and arid zones of india there is a um, there are more frequency and more, more incidences of fires fire fires uh, this is a result of climate change increase in the temperature stove aqueous biota which contributes to the production of calcareous materials such as shells algae skeletons will also be reduced this this particular the frequency and the abundance will be reduced by climatic change uh, this is <coughs> again a representative picture it is a vagatar beach goa goa organic detritus this is organic detritus hmm. which is deposited at the time of a low tide in intertidal sectors will also be affected adversely uh, you do not know how these these areas and these uh, biotic things they are how they are affecting the total chain chain biotic chain biological chain these are sea grasses and sea weeds kinarawar aplyala hi dist gavat beras par yon padle climate change threatens these sea grass beds which support endangered species like green turtles basically the green turtles they are endangered by the by these sea weeds and sea grasses because their frequency occurrence uh, etc and their properties they are changing because of the climate change the most direct evidence of climate change impact on the coral reef comes in the form of coral bleaching yes uh, the bleaching hote all these corals they are losing their original color and they are getting degraded these corals are pervad which refers to the loss of corals natural color due to expulsion of the zooxanthellae this is a major effect and corals are the major biological stores on the earth surface so we have to take care of these corals more because they are getting degraded at a very fast rate salt water intrusion as i told you just now uh, the uh, water especially around the coastal areas is getting more and more salt saltier another serious impact of rising sea level could be in the migration of salt water up the rivers salt water may also seep into inland aquifers comprising critical water supply as earth temperature rises it is primarily the oceans that absorb the extra heat samudra hai jasta hi heat ye aayi thi absorb karun geta so even small temperature changes can have far reaching effects on the life cycles of marine animals from corals to whales now in order to minimize the risk of dangerous human interference in a climate system we need to limit temperature rise to 2 degrees celsius above pre industrial levels that is to say you cannot allow the temp- the increase in the temperature uh, more than 2 degrees celsius more than 2 degrees celsius so all our efforts should be in the direction of controlling the temperature rise that is the only solution for the temperature rise control and incidentally the climate change okay now we come to the last part because we have only 40 minutes time ever since the corona virus pandemic struck across the globe several reports have emerged highlighting the rejuvenation of environment and return of many species to their natural habitats after the lockdown lockdown nantar aplyala jase he sagle positive effects dista we can also see the uh, negative effects also okay but these are the positive effects this is before the lockdown situation this is after uh, this is murky polluted water of yamuna river water gives way to pure looking blue water this is now the uh, scenario in yamuna near delhi okay this was uh, this was before 
coronavirus and disease after the uh, corona and the uh, i mean the all the measures that we have taken this you know you may be knowing okay the drastic measures taken by governments because of the spreading of the novel coronavirus coronavirus the shutdown of factories commercial establishments and vertical um, vehicular movement that has resulted in a drop in the pollution levels across the world pollution levels have dropped to a maximum level at many many in many many areas around the world himalaya is visible for first for the first time in 30 years in levels in india have dropped this is this particular photograph has taken from the uh, northern part of kashmir okay you can see how clear it is uh, that is mainly because of the dropping of pollution levels uh, mother earth seems to have rejuvenated itself smog has given way to blue skies marine life is seeing increased activity pollution levels have dropped and animals as well as birds are moving about on their own accord uh, this is a dramatic fall in po pollution in europe this was uh, the picture in april 2019 and this is the picture 13th of april 2020 so these the red dots they indicate the pollution polluted areas and this is the scenario so this is a major a uh, major event the air quality index it has sank sank to as low as 93 last month in new delhi as compared to 161 in march 2019 this is the graph which shows the uh, air quality index and how it has dropped because this is the most polluted um, area in in our country new delhi you see how clear the skies are yes okay so this is the uh, data which gives you uh, and it will give you an idea about how the pollution has decreased all of this shows that the pandemic is resulting in a more room for animals to thrive even amidst the margins of urbanized existence this is a picture from thailand monkeys on the hunt for food in this area north of bangkok where tourists who normally feed the animals have stayed away as a result of the virus and this is taken up by the uh, monkeys they are freely roaming in the streets and this is a urbanized area yes the nationwide lockdown is also providing perfect condition for the olive red turtles to lay eggs in odisha's gahri matha beach and rushkulya's rukeri the lockdowns have shown the improvements to air quality that are possible when emissions are reduced on a global scale so we have to take care of this when the emissions are reduced on a global scale uh, to beyond a particular limit then only the future is very bright okay last two slides only i will be i will conclude um, by showing these two covid 19 has been an eye opener it has shown people as to how the earth can bounce back to life if humans allow for it in spite of local and global climate change let me tell you one thing before i conclude the change the climate change is not only global it is also local we confuse the local climate change with the global climate change global climate change mainly is in the increase of temperature all over the world but the local climate change may be reflected in terms of uh, say the um, more incidences of uh, storms okay the flooding and the cloud burst etc cloud burst may not be a global phenomena it is only a local phenomena so there is a local change climate change as well as there is a global change we are not supposed to mix up these two issues global change is different local change is different many times what we experience is a local change although it is a climate change it is a local one and this year if we experience some local change it is most likely that we will not experience this particular change next year so the situation uh, has many i mean uh, slide shapes and many corners so we have to look at this particular complex issue from that point of view okay <clears throat> thank you very much thank you very much thank hello you lot, sir uh, hello. for the explanation yeah sir you may turn off the screen sharing and you can turn on the video now
So sir, there's one more question you can note down from the chat. Yes. Sir, we request you to uh, switch over to your video and uh, turn off the screen sharing. Okay, should I? Give me two minutes, sir. I'll okay, okay, no problem. Uh, just a minute, just a minute. Uh, you will read the question and I will answer, or should I read and answer it? No, no I will read out uh, the question. Ha, ha, ha. That will be better. You read out the to question, I'll answer. Yeah. Tushar from our side will be asking you the questions. Okay. 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 So we can see you now. If you can just okay. turn off the screen sharing, we will be able to see you uh, as a main view. Screen sharing. Okay. Okay. I'll stop the screen sharing. You are visible to us now. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So Tushar, you can start the questions now. Yeah, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Karlikas sir for his informative session on behalf yeah. of all the participants. So uh, in the meantime, during a session, we have uh, received a lot of questions uh, from all the participants. So I'll read it out once uh, and then uh, he can answer. And if any yeah. more questions uh, are from your side, please uh, feel free to write it down in the chat box so that I can read it out. Okay, so first question is from Satish Patankar. He wants to know what is the ocean heat content? Okay, you want to know the exact uh, amount? If you want to know the exact amount, uh, you have to, uh, um, because at, at this moment I will not be able to give you that, because it is changing from ocean to ocean. It is increasing, but the Indian Ocean, ocean content differs from the Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean. So there are different, I mean, figures for these oceans. Okay, but the, so he wants the to know about the concept of uh, ocean heat content. Okay, okay. Uh, see, the uh, temperature received by the Earth's surface and the temperature received by the uh, ocean, there is a total difference in that. The uh, heat received or the temperature increased and the heat received by the continent and the land uh, goes back to the uh, space immediately uh, or quickly. However, in the ocean, you will see that the ocean is a big storehouse for the heat for many days, the temperature. And because of that, there is always an imbalance between the uh, heat uh, contained in the oceans and the heat which is received by the uh, land. That, of course, that causes the monsoons and the winds. That, that is the, I mean, the concept, heat content. Yeah. Yeah, the other question is from Guru Prasad Karlika. He wants to know if the melting polar ice is the reason or the indication of climate change. It is the reason. Uh, I'm sorry, it is an indication. It is not the reason. It is the indication. The temperature is uh, is increasing because of many other factors, as I told you just now, for volcanic eruptions, uh, the, uh, the change in the axis, uh, the change in the distribution of uh, continents, and many others. There are many astronomical reasons for that also. And the cycle is getting repeated. But it is, initially it is reflected in the melting of ice. So it is an indication that the temperature is increasing and it may cause a climate change. Yeah. Okay. Uh, other question is, uh, is the mean sea level same across all, uh, all over the oceans or is it different? It is different. It is different. For India, it is different. For America, it is different. Because you have to consider what is called as an equipotential surface. Equipotential. Uh, normally, what you see is our, our assumption is that the sea level will be same everywhere. But it is not like that. Considering 
the earth as a geoid geoid uh, the sea level changes or it, it varies the average sea level the mean sea level even along the uh, along our east coast and the west coast the sea level the mean sea level is not same is not same next okay uh, another question is uh, are there any precautions to pro, uh, prevent ozone depletion and also what can be done at the individual level to combat with this dangers exactly exactly uh, this can be done by many i mean many um, um, adopting many ways uh, changing the lifestyle uh, the increase in the carbon content should be should be controlled that is one uh, forest fires and all those things forest cutting etc all this there are these things are they we have to control all this and you can control this thing yeah uh, so one more question from gopal chipronkar he wants to know what is yeah. the probable solution for coastal city like mumbai which cannot be shifted can the sea walls act effectively in this case ah uh, that's right a very good question actually uh, the japan the coastlines uh, the japan areas they they have tried this uh, however it was not uh, it was not a successful experiment there because of the tsunamis and we don't get tsunamis here and it is less likely that uh, mumbai will be affected by tsunami because the tsunamis are created by the uh, earthquakes which take place uh, on the ocean floor and where there is a plate margin which is about 3000 kilometers away from mumbai so there is no danger of uh, tsunami but this uh, this can also be a solution uh, building the big walls uh, but the best solution uh, which is suggested nowadays all over the world is to shift the population uh, in the interior away from the coastline uh, say considering a, a distance of about 10 kilometers 5 kilometers uh, depending upon the configuration of that coastline of that coastline if the coastline is a rocky coastline uh, you need not um, you know, shift your population for 10 kilometers but if you are a resident of kolkata or that area those areas plain areas uh, you have to shift the population for about 10 kilometers or uh, you have to find out that particular critical distance at which the population can be moved but that at present that is supposed to be the best solution yes yeah the other question is from aniruddha kerkar he wants to know in the uh, present situation of the covid-19 pandemic uh, is it helping nature to restore its losses and also with respect to uh, ozone layer reconstruction the magnitude yeah yeah, yeah. the the ozone layer definitely is uh, improving and there are um, there are news items regarding that also uh, since we will, uh, i was not having much time i could not uh, show you those slides but there are definite indications of ozone layer the improvement in ozone layer depletion uh, what was your another question uh, can you please read it again sir with respect to the ozone layer reconstruction the magnitude uh, behind it yeah yeah that that i uh, answered what was the initial part of that question ha uh, helping the nature yeah, to restore yeah, yeah it is surely helping it is surely helping there are many uh, i mean news items coming uh, that uh, there is a Uh, regeneration of the environment which is taking place which is taking place uh, most of the rivers they are uh, their water is getting very fresh now uh, there is no contamination of water is in most of the rivers uh, the uh, effluents from the chemical industries they it has stopped and the rivers are um, i mean showing uh, very fresh water there are many incidents the, the environment is definitely is getting improved there is no doubt yes sir. yeah uh, so there are many questions related to the climate change effect the first mm -hmm. is uh, how is its effect on uh, rocks and the soil quality very good very good uh, the climate change is deteriorating the soils the uh, the soil quality is actually decreasing uh, the human is also responsible the human activities they are also responsible for the Uh, decrease in the quality of the soil but uh, because of the changes they are taking place in the hydrodynamics and the other factors the soils they are degrading because of the climate change the temperature increase is uh, 
uh, is, uh, I mean, actually causing the uh, more weathering of rocks, increase in the rock. However, these, these things are very slow. Uh, it's not like a volcanic eruption. It's not like an earthquake. The climate change, the temperature has increased this year, and next year you will see the change in the rock. This doesn't happen normally. Uh, so this will be, I mean, uh, you can see this particular effect uh, after some years. But the experiments are going on, and these experiments, they indicate that the rocks, they are getting weathered, they are getting eroded at a faster rate now as compared to the previous years, which is a result of a hike in the temperature, increase in the temperature. Next. Uh, also, can you elaborate on the effect of climate change on the reproductive cycle of aquatic animals? <laughs> Yeah, it has been found, especially, I mean, that, that has been reported by some uh, uh, fishing industries and the colleges working in, in these areas, that some of the uh, aquatic animals, they have changed their reproductive cycle. They have not only changed their reproductive cycle, the season, they have also changed their areas. areas. I know a, a, the exact and a particular example uh, in the Arabian Sea near Ratnagiri, where uh, we have seen that the areas which were known for the reproduction of a particular species, we don't have now the reproduction of that particular species there. The organisms, they have, the uh, aquatic animals, they have uh, shifted that position to some other place. They are now avoiding the uh, areas which are more polluted, which are getting more hotter, etc. So they are actually, they are being used by the biologist, biogeomorphologist as an indicator of climate exchange. This is a very good question. Yes, sir. Yeah, so there is another question uh, which says, is there any known climate change in history of Homo sapiens, but uh, before the pre-industrial era? Uh, it is reported actually, but but there are there are no evidences. There are not many evidences for that. It is a suggestion. It is a suggestion. And in the geological literature, uh, if you search on the net, net also, you will see that there were incidences uh, of climatic change in those uh, those times. However, they are not proved beyond doubt. They require more evidences. Yes, sir. Yeah, there's uh, one more question from Atharva Pawar. He wants to know if uh, humans are responsible for climate change. So what yes. efforts can be ne uh, are needed from uh, individual uh, human and also uh, with respect to the AC usage, uh, air conditions yes. use and everything? That's right. That's right. The use of AC, use of cosmetics, that is actually increasing the chlorofluorocarbons in the atmosphere, the lower layer, that is troposphere. And uh, they remain in the air for many years. They slowly they go upwards, and thus they are causing the climate change uh, at a local level, at a local level, as well as at a global level after so many years. So, so these things are there, and human activities they are basically the major reason for the climate change in the recent years, in the geological period which is known as the Anthropocene, that is last say 10,000 years, and especially last. One to two thousand years. Human activities, they are, they are the major factor in the climate change. However, you also see that the global climatic change is not affected much by the, the human activities. The human activities, they affect the climate change at a local level. And it culminates into a global change after some years. That is what the theory says. Yeah. Yeah, uh, one more question, uh, is this large scale farming affecting the climate and also uh, what uh, can be done to again uh, revise it like properly? Oh, oh, oh. No, I will not be able to give you that answer, but uh, what I have read is this particular large scale farming is not having any effect on even on the local climate change, that is what I have read. But I am not an expert in that, so I may not be able to answer that properly. Okay, yes. sir. Uh, yeah, the other question is from Shana. It is asking uh, the digging of mid-sized lakes uh, mm -hmm. with uh, connection to river flow at distance of every two kilometer. 
uh, will it help controlling the floods that actually is practiced in brahmaputra river that actually is practiced in the upper part of brahmaputra river uh, digging up lakes and this is more profitable in our area if you tell you this is more profitable in our area uh, in maharashtra on the deccan plateau the digging of wells is definitely more profitable that's right digging of lakes yeah Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, that are all the questions we have got. Thanks for thank all uh, the question understanding. And uh, any other participant, if they have any other questions, please feel free to uh, drop in the chat chat box. Uh, I hope to sir, most of the questions we have already covered. Yeah. I think uh, we are already past uh, 12 p.m. now. Yeah. And uh, yeah. if they have any more questions, they can email to us. We'll be sharing with the speaker and uh, you know getting them, yeah. uh, you know, that getting that out to clarified. Yeah, also no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, huh? great. Yeah. And uh, we'll be sharing the feedback form with all the participants. Uh, please share your feedback and your thoughts and opinions on uh, today's session. Thanks a lot, sir, sir for uh, joining yeah. the session <coughs> and giving your insights on this very important topic. and uh, just a second i'm also sachin may please uh, you know uh, give the word of thanks oh yes sure webo yes sir it was fantastic session and uh, we really enjoyed the entire information and uh, uh, you also answered all the questions very nicely Uh, i hope everybody enjoyed the enjoyed the session and uh, we'll keep you updated with our next uh, session so far this uh, webinars this online knowledge series has been really good and we are getting very good response from all the audiences so and we are getting responses from across the states uh, we are getting responses from odisha getting from uh, uh, south madhya pradesh everywhere So we are really happy Kolkata to uh, places, yes. yes, Kolkata. Yes, we are really happy to reach out to more people. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, stay tuned with us. We will be uh, sharing the next uh, sessions link whenever we'll be uh, getting with new things. Thank you, thank you so much, and uh, thank you, sir. Hope you enjoy this. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you.